So for this problem, you can see from the chart that kinetic energy at point one, which kinetic energy density at point one, which is K1, is greater than K2. So this actually means V1 is greater than V2. And also, it is given that potential energy density at point one equals potential energy density at point two equals zero. And the chart shows that the pressure difference between point one and point two is actually less than zero. That means P1 is actually less than P2, right? So from here, over here, y1 equals y2 equals zero. Now we can actually write down the Bernoulli equation as kinetic energy at point one plus P1 minus P2 equals K2, all right? And you know, you can just substitute the value. So I'm just gonna write this one here because there is no potential energy involved here. Now, this figure over here is actually gonna show the situation of the problem here. Let me draw, redraw it properly. So this is a horizontal line and I'm gonna assume a tube that goes kind of like wider, I guess kind of wider like this. This is point one over here where y equals zero, right? And point two is also y equals zero. So velocity at point one is V1 and velocity at point two is V2. Remember the velocity at point one is higher because it's narrower and velocity at point two is lower because it's wider. And that perfectly, perfectly explains the situation right here, right? 